A public inquiry is to examine allegations that hundreds of haemophiliacs died because doctors ignored warnings about contaminated blood products. Well, Sue Jameson is at Westminster where the inquiry is taking place. Sue, good morning. What happened here? Yes, good morning. We're going back to the 1970s and 1980s when 5,000 haemophiliacs were given blood that was contaminated either with hepatitis C or HIV. 2,000 of them have died and many others are terminally ill. Now, the claim is that British doctors knew they were taking a risk by using, testing, in fact, new blood products, including the clotting agent Factor 8. Many of these supplies came from America, where, of course, people, including prison inmates, were paid to donate blood. Now, some some of those who were, they feel, tested said they were used as guinea pigs. From June 84 um, until February 85, there was no mention that I was positive by my consultant. Um, and through that period, I could have um, infected my wife or my children for that matter. Now, the inquiry is actually taking place about a stone's throw from Westminster. It isn't a government inquiry. Previous inquiries have happened. They've taken place behind closed doors. But today, for the first time in public, some of the sufferers are going to be giving their evidence first. The report is going to come back in late summer. And no doubt, at Westminster then, they will be looking very closely at the evidence that it throws up. Back to you.